Once you see a banana plantation having yellow leaves, start suspecting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Akataps Farm. My name is Taras and I'm a farmer. I love farming. So today I want to tell you, we we'll discuss about how can you save your banana plantation from dying of banana wilt disease. It affected me. I've worked on it and now the experience I have, which I want to share and then you learn from each other. Now, uh, I have one, one plantation, I mean one banana plant that has got any sickness. So in this struggle of fighting banana with disease, we have to ensure that in our home we have a panga. This one is helping us to cut whatever is sick. You cut it down, you chop chop it, then you show that you have a hole. All these tools, after you've plucked out this plant, you sanitize the tools. How do you sanitize on the farm? We don't have sanitizer. What we do, just make the fire, we burn these things, we make them hot. By making them hot, you, you're killing the disease on the tools. Because when you touch another plant, the tool gets to infect the other plant too. After that, we also use ash. The ash, ash we use is normal ash. Maybe you can burn this banana plant, the banana plants, the banana leaves, you get the ash. So this ash, when you pour it on the plant which has died, the, 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 the disease dies there. Hmm? So we ensure that we don't infect any other plant. So this one, we're going to cut it off. We chop chop it. Then we treat the place, treat the tools. And then the, the plantation does not get infected. You can see I have a very, very upcoming banana plantation. This is a home garden plantation. And this one is going to feed, you know with a, with a plantation like this, you can get, these are 50, 50 plants, you can feed your family every day on Matoke. But this disease, if it comes in, can spoil everything, then you start going to the market. We have always said, use what you have to get what you want. <coughs> You can see, uh, uh, you can look in here, you see how this plant was affected. It is rotten from inside. So, so uh, you can't treat it in any way unless you put in injections, which I don't even know how they operate. But you have to cut it down. Hmm? You plant, cut it down, you ensure that you don't spread the disease anywhere. Hmm? We have that, such sharp pangas that it misses the plant and it gets you. So this, this is a very, very big loss to us. This is a bogoya plant. However, we have no choice. We have to cut it down, treat it, and then we survive for the future. Nothing remains there. I need my sugar, sugar cane there because the banana is dead, so I need the sugar cane in the future. So here, I should be able to clean the place. Clean it up properly so that I gather everything possible to be having sickness with it. Remember we have sanitized our hoe after, then we sanitize our panga. So, whatever you use on, th on this thing, you must be able to sanitize it. At this level, I will add my ash. After putting the ash, I put back every diseased one. Then I will bring the fire and burn everything from here. That means my sugar cane has to go. With this one, it will kill anything down there that was the disease, causing the disease. So, when I come and I cover here with my plants, 
with my grass. I will later on burn everything here and the disease will be killed in here. No spreading. These ones will all have to be removed from the banana plantation. Everything that is infected this is now the enemy. This is the enemy of our garden. With this. Once you see a banana plantation having yellow leaves, start suspecting. So, with these yellow leaves, you ensure that you cut it off. If you don't cut it off, clean your banana plantation every time. Remove all the leaves, remove all the, the, the bad stem covers, you mulch your, your garden plantation, your, your banana plantation, you ensure you remove the bad suckers, and then you get your year to year annual matoke every day in your house. So, I've shared with you this knowledge. Let's practice it in our gardens and we shall have banana plantations in our home. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe to Taps Farm.